What's good, YouTube? Today we're gonna be reacting to a uh, beginner's guide, a beginner's guide to Australian football, the AFL. Because at first I was thinking of just reacting to like the AFL and all that stuff, but I was like, you know what? Let me not make the same mistake as I did for rugby and just get straight into it. So today we're gonna be reacting to like the rules of the sport and all that stuff. So uh, let's get this started. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Oh, alright, my bad. Otherwise known as Aussie Rules, AFL, or footy, Australian football is chock a block full of non stop action, athleticism, hard hits, and uh, heart stopping moments. So, okay, I know they're gonna explain the rules and all that, but I wanna know, like, from somebody that let's say you guys you know you've watched this sport you've watched rugby and you've watched this what sport in your in your opinion do you think is more aggressive and you know in, in general has like more of a yeah it's just more aggressive i want to know like what's more aggressive this is australia's game this is a, okay australia only so it's not the professional men's okay. league the is the most attended domestic sports league in the world per capita. It's made up of 18 teams across the country. The AFLW is the women's competition, formed in 2017 and growing rapidly ever since. My bad. Right on. Get my water. Basics. On game water. day, two teams play each other on a field shaped like an oval. A starting okay. lineup consists of defenders. So, okay, look, uh, I know this is only a sport. It says it's in Australia and all that, but I want to know also... Like, what, uh, is it only played in Australia? Like, is this only a thing in Australia? Like, can you not play anywhere else? Or, like, because I know, let's say you can say soccer was invented in Europe, which is, well, soccer, no, I don't think soccer was invented in Europe. But, for example, let's just say, like, a sport was invented in, like, a country. Is it just played in that country? Is this just played in Australia? Or is it played in worldwide? Midfielders and forwards. You gotta be fit to play this sport. Players can move anywhere on the ground and perform any role during the game. Games are split into four quarters, with time added for stoppages in play. The game starts wow. with players from both teams fighting for possession of the ball. We are away and grabbing out the back so we get the pin to read. The aim is to move the ball down the field and score. This is done in one of three... Okay, so first thing I'm gonna say that, this is a big field. Like, I play football... I mean, I don't play football. I, I used to play it, but I watch football or soccer, whatever you guys call it. And, you know, the pitches, they're big. But these, I feel like they're bigger, bro, and they're oval-shaped and all that. So that's cool. And also, another thing, who has more passionate fans? Rugby or the AFL? Let's get out. Let's see. You can't throw the ball, but you can use your fist to punch the ball out of your hands. That's mm. a handball. You can run with the ball, but don't forget to bounce it every 15 meters. Oh. Oh. Bro, that's crazy. You have to bounce it every 15 meters. So how do you guys like... That's actually crazy, bro. So how do y'all like know when to bounce it? Because I feel like if I would be playing... I wouldn't know when to calculate 15 meters, bro. Like in my head. Like I don't know if you guys just calculate that like naturally. But wow. Y'all really got to... Every 15 minutes, it's like basketball a little bit. Obviously, basketball, you got to dribble it every time, but dang, bro. I did not. Wow. That, that's that's actually pretty cool. Finally, you can kick the ball. Uh, no. Yeah, that's better. Players try to catch the ball after it's been kicked at least 15 meters. This is called a mark. Fun fact, you can use your opponent as a step ladder and take what's called a specky. Wait, that's legal? Wait, hold up. You can use your opponent as a step. What the fuck? Does rugby have this? That's crazy. After a mark, you can choose to play on. Or you can stop and take an unobstructed kick. To score, the idea is to kick the ball between the two large upright posts. Here's the target. That's six points. By the way, you can also kick goals like this. This. Or even this. No way! That's impressive. Or put it between the big posts and the outer lower post. I missed that. That's worth 
behind point. We call that a behind. After a goal is scored, the ball goes back to the center square and the action starts again. So, okay, so if I'm remembering, so it's, okay, it's six. So we have three goals, wow. You have a six, a one, and a one. Okay, so these two are ones and the middle one is six, okay. All right, all right, okay, I'm understanding, I'm understanding, I'm understanding. <laughs> So I, I guarantee you these games have to be intense because since it goes by the goals are six one and one like i know that they have to be like some games where they're down by by five or something like that i don't know bro and like they make oh my god i know these games have to be intense a free kick when the final siren sounds the team with the most points wins come on yeah the team with the most points can look confusing, but yeah. it's actually pretty simple. Start with the goals. These are worth six, remember? Add your behinds, and that's your total Okay, score. wow. So there's like... Before we go, let's take a quick look at how the professional seasons work. In the women... So like, there's like a lot of scoring in this, bro. Because, you know, when you do goals in... Or not even like football, American football. Like, a touchdown is six, and then the uh, extra point is... Uh, if you make it a seven... And there's not that many, like, there's touchdowns in the game, obviously, but not as much as these, bro, like, where the scores get up to 60s and 70s. Also, like, so then what would be, like, a regular score in the in this game? Like, what's, like, an average score? Like, oh, a team gets beaten. I don't know. What's, like, okay, what would be, like, a regular score and what would be, like, a, a blowout? competition, the top teams play off in a knockout final series, culminating in a grand final played at the highest-ranking team's home ground. In the men's league, teams fight it out for 22 home and away games. And after that, the top eight teams make the finals. One by one, teams get knocked out until two remain. Ready to face off in the grand final. It's the decider for the biggest prize in footy, the Premiership Cup. Played at the MCG in front of, oh, this can't be right, 100,000 fans. 100,000? That's more than like some soccer games, bro. That's more than, wow, bro. That's okay. So that shows a lot of passion, bro. And and just for the sport being in Australia, like in a single country, that shows a lot of passion. Wow. Uh, that's the end of the video. Yeah, that's the end of the video. Uh, well, wow, that's the end of the video, y'all. It was actually a pretty cool video. I actually enjoyed it because I got to learn something. Like, I got to learn, like, how a new sport is. And it's just, I don't know, I found it cool. But uh, if you're new to this video and you're new to this channel, man, make sure you go like and subscribe. I do other reactions, not just these type of reactions. And if you're a returning viewer, uh, I want to thank you for watching. Watch until the end. I support you. You know, your support means a lot. But uh, that's enough for the talking. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Peace.